Solid Edit command has 15 different ways to modify edges, faces, and solid bodies. Let's start the Solid Edit command and uh, see what the functions it has for edges. The two main ones are Copy and Color. So I'm going to enter in C for Copy, and then it asks me to select the edges I want to copy. So I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, and to make it interesting, those as well. So there's five. Press enter to finish. Asks for the base point, just like the copy command, and then I'll move it over here somewhere. So press enter twice to end the solid edit command, and we're left with these entities. If we look up at the uh, properties bar, we see the round ones are arcs, the straight ones are lines. To change the color, we go back into solid edit. Choose edge again, this time type L for the color option, and then choose the edges we, whose colors we want. So once again, I'll choose the same set. Press enter, and then enter in a color, I'll pick blue. If we switch to wireframe mode, then we can see the colors of the edges, which are normally overridden by visual styles. Let's look at a few more things that uh, the solid edit command can do to faces. So I'm going to enter in the command, type F for face, and then this time let's see what happens when we use the move option. Type M for move, and it's asking me for a face, so I'm going to choose this one. Press enter to continue, and then specify a base point or a vector. Now I find when moving things in 3D, it's best to pick points along the 3D entity, and that way you'll know which direction it's going to be going. If you just pick points somewhere out in space, you really don't know what the result's going to be. So first point will be this corner, and then move it up by this amount. So you can see that move doesn't really move the face so much as it takes along all the rest of the solid body with it and extends it upwards. I'm going to do undo, just to undo that. And uh, the other one I want to look at is extrude. Now you'd think extrude and move would be the same after seeing what move does, but um, let me show you the difference, okay? So I've entered E for extrude. Again, it wants a face and it wants the height of extrusion. So once again, I'm gonna pick these two points. But look, you can have an angle of taper. So I'm gonna put in a angle of 2.5 degrees, press enter, and you can see how as it, as it extrudes, as it moves, it also tapers. Mm -hmm. 